Ladies, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, this is general and timeless. It's not a personal reading, but if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, or an Akashic Record session to dive into some past life healing and regression, check out the box below. It has my website, 144bluerosetemple.com, and my email. Remember that we are having on the Lionsgate portal 8A an intro to the Akashic Records workshop, so feel free to join us on 8A. I'm going to get right to your reading today, Pisces. A big thank you for all of your love and all of your support. If my energy and my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out. The only thing that I'm seeing is white lilies. Like the scent, white lily can mean something to you. Or like the scent, the white lilies in general. I have summoning power instinct intellect and control i have wisdom on the bottom of the deck so we have summoning power over here the wolf spirit can also mean something to you one 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 as i say that yeah as i'm looking this way i'm getting a lot of downloads of this wolf spirit so some of you really do have a wolf spirit um, but what I'm getting is more of like animalistic instincts. Um, like, uh, I also hear like a keen eye. All right. Um, it's like, I'm also getting serpent energy. One, four, four, as I say that, like the wisdom of the serpent, like for example, snakes, they just know what's around them. That's why snakes too are so associated with intuition, with the feminine energy, Snakes, like they have their body, but they're so in tune with everything that's going on without, um, without of them, right? And around them. You do have stand your ground. Okay, Pisces, you. I do feel like there's a situation in your life where you're going to have to stand your ground, whether that's energetically or like in the physical But I get like ancestral protection, like your, it's your own instincts, your own intuition and your ancestors as well. They're like on guard, like they're ready. You know, it's like, you know, that some sort of energy or something is coming. We're going to see what that is. There's a lot of protection that surrounds you, Pisces. I'm getting heavy ancestral energy. And also for you, it's like your intuition, the... And I'm getting very specifically like animalistic instincts, you know, where it's just like almost extrasensory perception where you kind of know what's around you. You don't see it, but you know it. So you can resonate with the spirit animal of the serpent or the wolf. Why do we have summoning power and stand your ground? The gift, present, honoring, offering, the leap. Something's coming in for you, Pisces. You have the gift. Some of you, like this is your gift. 333 as I say that. You're going to be very blessed by God, by your ancestors, by your spirit team, as you step into your gifts. It's like your spirit team loves when you step into your gifts. They love when you use your gifts. They love when you own your gifts. And you're very protected as you do so. We're going to see what this is, Pisces. It's very interesting energy. Some of you can have been like giving offerings lately. I feel like there's also like just a new gift that you're either remembering, that's strengthening at this time. Some of you have like a past life as an animal and that's why you connect so much with that animal. Like you, there's a particular spirit animal. This is a general reading, um, but there's a particular spirit animal that you really connect to. It's like you almost feel like, like you're one with that animal. I feel like you have the gifts from that spirit animal. Like it really works directly with you. A lot of birds as well are like flying. You have the Hierophant, okay? Very powerful energy. 
It's the energy of the teacher of contracts of commitment of the initiate. Why the Hierophant for Pisces? Why the Hierophant for Pisces? You're being very protected right now, Pisces. You have two of swords over here. Now, what is the Hierophant? Ten of Cups. Three of Swords. This has to do with family. Some sort of like family commitments and stuff like that. Ten of Cups with the Hierophant. Some sort of long-term relationship. You have the uh, either long-term relationship or this has to do with family. Because the Hierophant is also commitments. Or long-term. You have the Eight of Swords, Four of Swords in reverse, and you have the Death card. Why the Eight of Swords for this reading? The Emperor, masculine air, uh, masculine energy, Aries energy, also like Father energy, the Emperor. You have Four of Swords in reverse, and then you have the Death card. Okay, this is just a lot of masculine energy or Aries, either one. There's some energy here that's like being blocked off right now. Why the Four of Swords in reverse? Why the Death card? There's sneaky stuff going on in the family. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Be wary of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It feels like they're being a little bit sneaky. It's also like um, she's pregnant here. And then for the death card, you have the Seven of Swords. Why are the Seven of Swords with the death card? The Empress. Someone's trying to hide something here. Judgment. There, there's you. The reason there's so much that you don't see, Pisces, right now. The reason why you feel just like this protective energy, but you don't even know why, is because there's a lot going on, right? You do have the gift, the present honoring offering. There's a gift that's going to come out of the situation, but this is a really messed up situation. There's judgment being called upon the situation. There was plots and plans here. Plots, plans. almost feel like setting up this feminine seven of swords with the death card and the empress someone's getting a little bit shaky now because something didn't quite work out that's what this energy was instinct intellect control stand your ground this masculine energy here is a little bit shaky because something didn't work out as planned something worked out pisces perhaps in your highest good you know, weapons will be formed. Doesn't mean that they will prosper. There was something here that was tried to like, to be covered up. Someone tried to corner you, whether that be spiritually or whatever that that is. Someone wants to cover up their tracks because death card, seven of swords, empress, it's like this masculine energy, it didn't work. And there's like a plane that's going above me. You flew right over it. And I'm almost hearing the song. Um, now this is actually a rap song. Um, and there's a lyric that says, my something like they're gonna take care of it as I hop on a plane. Okay, like, what this, this person or these people plan is very ugly. I feel like it was actually very spiritual. But they're a little bit shaky because it's like they tried to cover their tracks. But it didn't work. What well, did not kill you made you stronger. You turned into the empress. Okay. Where's Pisces energy in this reading? You're showing up as a king of wands energy, duality. You have the page of swords and the king of wands here. You're on guard over here, Pisces. That's your energy. 
or you're on guard regards to this king of wands who is this king of wands a lot of aries energy so there's like an aries energy in your life or it's that masculine energy 10 10 the fool card what's the page of swords You've really had to be on guard over here, Pisces. Why the King of Wands with the Fool card? The Moon, because there's things it is that you didn't see. The Wheel of Fortune. All right. What didn't work out for you ended up really working out for you. One, four, one, four, four. As I say that, you have the Moon card, the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Wands, and the Fool. All right. Where is Pisces here? Three of coins. Why the three of coins for Pisces? You're why are you such in such a protective energy, Pisces? Seven of Wands. You know what it looks like here, Pisces, that there's like multiple people working against you. And it's not working. It's like these people are getting frustrated. This is either from a distance. You either know these people or these people might even be your family. Um, I'm hearing parallel timelines as well. A lot of this is past life. It's like you, you have these past lives with your family members that either you're not aware of or they're not aware of. And it's weird because it's like a parallel timeline almost, 1144. But there's like a past life where you guys were not getting along. Like you guys were actually against one another. Why the three of coins with the seven of wands for Pisces? But you have an ace of swords, Pisces. Truth. It's like you hoarding. Um, say you hoarding. They think that you're hoarding, Pisces. Why the word hoarding for Pisces? Knight of swords. Six of swords. You are moving away from all of this. What this feels like, Pisces, it's like either people in your family or a group of people, you're catching on to what's going on. You're catching on to what has happened in the past for some of you. It's like you're figuring something out that they tried to cover certain tracks and they can't cover up the tracks anymore because it's Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords. Why is there a Three of Coins here? Because things are coming in for you, Pisces, okay? Things are coming in for you, six of six of uh, coins, but the three of coins. But for some reason, you have to fight for what's coming in for you. It, the reason why you have to fight for what's coming in for you is because it feels like there's these conflicting forces. It either has to do with like your ancestral line, your family, or a group of people that, it's almost like they don't want you to receive this. Um, but again, because it's almost like when you receive this, it kind of highlights something about them. This is, again, either a group of people, it's something ancestrally or family. This is a parallel timeline. So the way that they view you is actually from another, it's from a past life, the way that they view you. They're very stuck in that energy. I'm almost saying like a dark energy like around them that like, it's just working against you. And I hear a dog as soon as I say that. You hear that? And you're being liberated and freed from this. What is Pisces receiving? Pisces, you are receiving everything that is for you. You're receiving everything that's for you, Pisces. This is a beautiful card. You are so blessed by your ancestors. You are so highly favored by God, by your ancestors. These, This group of people or your family, whatever that this is for you, they're very unaware that they are actually operating from a past life energy regarding you. 
when you guys weren't even in the dynamic that you are in now. And for some reason you have to fight for what is actually yours. That's yours, the gift. This gift is yours. No one can take what's from you. This is your birthright, Pisces. This is your birthright. And for some of you, like I'm even getting like the, the, this little spiritual and unseen stuff that has happened here too. Okay, it's like, I don't know why I see a, a coven. I'm just gonna say it. I don't know why I see that, but like a dark group of people. They knew no better. They didn't know what they were doing was from fear and ego. But this group of people in your family, they have just this distorted perception of you 555 because they have not cleared that past life. And it it's almost like their assignment to try to stop whatever they think that they're stopping or halting or slowing or just for some reason, they know that once you receive this, like, I don't know. Uh, what's coming through is also, do you know the uh, movie Elvira? Elvira and Vincent. That's what's coming through here too, Elvira. It's an old movie. Go check it out on Google, the movie Elvira, Mistress of the Night, and go check out um, like the synopsis of the movie. What's the intentions of this group of people? What is the intentions of this group of people? Why the chariot and the ace of wands for this group of people? You do have the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. It's just so interesting. I'm getting so many parallel timelines with this, all right? I feel like they're studying you. They're doing work. They're doing work where they're studying you. They study you. This is like a manipulation tactic. It's like they're studying you to get more information on you, to almost know some of your weaknesses so that they can see where they have their strengths. They're studying you. It's a manipulation tactic though. Either you're aware that they're studying you or you're not even aware that they are studying you, but it's a way for them to gain information. You did have the higher font starting off. The thing is, it's like, I do feel like these are like quote unquote powerful people. And I say quote unquote because it's more from like ego and fear. It's like the old ways. That's what I'm getting is like they're in old ways. They're in a lower consciousness than you, Pisces. And not to say that there's any lower or higher than, but they're powerful in, in a way that's in a lower consciousness. How do they view Pisces? They actually view you as strong though, because like they try to cover some things up. There were certain things that were like supposed to happen to you but didn't. They view you as strong Pisces because it's like a whole group of people or whatever that this is. And Pisces is, is everything that they send your way and any manipulation tactic they used against you. It's like you like, oh, it's like I see people like throwing, like say like swords, you know, and then you're catching it. And now it's your sword catching it and now it's your sword so now you got a whole bunch of swords whatever they threw your way you used it for the higher good the strength card they see you as strong because your inner beast is tamed whatever beast they throw your way whatever energy whatever beasts whatever plots and plans they throw your way you pet it it's like petting the lion it's like and they're just like how did pisces tame that beast i just sent them What's the outcome? Balancing karma. All right, you're balancing karma from another lifetime or a parallel timeline when it comes to this group of people, your family, or whatever that this is. That's the outcome, is that karma shall be balanced. Why the two of coins for the outcome? 
because judgment has been called. Why judgment and the two of coins? And victory is here, Pisces. You better go. That, that actually makes me want to cry, Pisces, because like this is a group of people. This has to do with something. Either, it's either ancestral for you. Again, it's not a personal reading, but if you would like one, feel free to book one in the box below. This is ancestral. It's a group of people that came up against you. For some, like covens came up against you. For some, your own family came up against you. Why? Because you're clearing past life timelines. These are parallel timelines that they don't even know exist. Judgment has been declared. Elohim victory. And I have chills as I say that. All right. Elohim victory. That's your hand coming out victory. It didn't work. All right. What's the advice for Pisces? What's the advice? You have page of wands. You have four of cups. You have eight of cups. Um, some advice for you right now in your life is to seek out creativity, um, to get creative. You have the Eight of Cups there, like go seek. Um, Page of Wands, Four of Cups, follow what stirs your soul, what excites you. Um, with the Four of Cups, it could be a little bit of a bored energy. I'm getting like a like dullness with this energy, okay? So uh, do things that excite you, dance, move around, paint, like do things that bring up your life force do things that get you creative um i'm seeing sacral chakra you could be going through a sacral chakra clearing which is creativity it's the feminine energy you know um so find balance in that sense that's what i have for you pisces you better go if you would like a personal reading a one-on-one -on -one personal session or an akashic record session feel free to check out the box below my Akashic Records are still 22% off right now with the code PASSLIFE777, so feel free to check that out. What advice do we have for Pisces? Rose without thorns, you have a right to your joy. Peace, sweetness of life. You have the return, a new story. You decide. Alignment, it's coming together. All right, I do feel like you're clearing a lot of past life karma here, ancestral karma, like multiple layers of things, Pisces, that you're clearing. Right, you have a right to your joy. Joy is your birthright. There is nothing that's going to stop that. As I say that, like the sun is starting to come out. Um, you have a right to your joy, peace, sweetness of life. Do things that make you happy. I don't care what's going on in your life. Not that I don't care, but like whatever's going on in your life, whatever is happening, don't let it stop you from connecting and activating your inner ray of joy. What other card of advice? Duality. Okay, there's a lot of duality here. A lot of balancing, many meanings, misunderstandings, reclaiming your power. You're definitely reclaiming your power here. And it's just interesting because we have the death card with the empress card. And then there's Mary Magdalene here with the skull. It's like whatever was meant to like. And I guess the words I want to say is like, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I see you as just a strong person, Pisces. And it's like you're holding what was meant to like bring you down and you're just like serving it on a plate, you know. Um, what else do we have for Pisces as advice? Two more cards. Forgive, yes, because Pisces, when it comes to all this energy, right? People coming against you, family, covens, groups, whatever that this is. You won't be free unless you forgive. Hopono, Hopono, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. When it comes to these types of things, Pisces, it's like we need to understand that like it's all contracts. Like we, we choose all of our contracts before we even reincarnate here. It's not that you deserve it. It's not that all of those different things, um, but you will stay stuck and tied to karmic timelines. If it, when you don't forgive, okay? So for example, say you clear all this out, but you still have unforgiveness, you're still connected to that karmic timeline, okay? Forgive people, move on. Doesn't mean that you forget, but you forgive what has happened because that frees you from the karmic timeline. What's a final message for Pisces? The Isle of Wonders, Revelations, Teaching, Discovery. I do feel like you're discovering a lot at this time. And it's almost like that energy where it's like, whatever that this is, 
it's just so weird it's like either in the spiritual realms or there's actually groups of people and if maybe it's family whatever that this is it's like they understand that you are discovering things they you're rising pisces you are really really rising and somehow it's a threat to whatever that this is but no weapon form shall prosper um pisces and there's definitely a lot of a lot of revelations happening at this time and i'm called to just pick one of the twin flame cards as well remember who you <laughs> i love spirit i'm getting a spam call from 777 i don't even know what this number is it's not it's a, it's literally a spam call and i'm getting a spam call from 777 remember who you are because you can do it okay <laughs> that's really loud um remember who you are okay beyond the programming beyond all the throws all the battles all that different stuff remember who you are you can do it you are a rose without thorns you have a right to your joy and your birthright is your birthright and it cannot be taken from you that's what i have for you pisces i hope that it resonates i'm sending you all so much love and so many blessings to your day